So one of the questions that we get at Mapperton from people is wanting to have a better understanding of how we keep this place going. Mm -hmm. Do you know how we keep this place going? Well, I know it's a lot of work. <laughs> so but, I do know that. But a lot to of fun too. No, there are, there are definitely challenging days. Sometimes we do wonder how we keep this place going. We are very lucky that we have various ways in which we generate income to support all of the repairs and maintenance that are required here. And I thought today I'd just go through a yeah. few of those. And, think... there are, and there are one or two things that we do slightly differently. Even though things can look quite glamorous at Mapperton, for example, we're sitting in the drawing room here and what a lovely place to be surrounded by ancestors and wonderful furniture, we can immediately see things that need doing that we can't yet afford to do no. in terms of, of restoration projects. Anyway, so the different ways that we support Mapperton, how do we keep this place going? Um, and this is in no particular order. But obviously one of the key things that we do is we have visitors mm -hmm. and we are very, very grateful for the many thousands of people each year who come to visit Mapperton House and Gardens and also the cafe. What we also love is bumping into some of you. Some of mm -hmm. you have, have come as a result of this channel. Yes. Which is, which is um, been Somebody just commented on our YouTube channel that they had come on June 12th all the way from Australia with their children and their children had a great time. They had a fantastic time. But comments like that, if you have visited us, do leave them in the comments below. We, we see all of them. And, and if you happen to see us when you're here, just come and say hi. Because yeah. we love talking to people mm -hmm. and we love finding out more about you know, where you're from and why you're here. And it's just brilliant that somebody would put it on their bucket list all the way from Australia. So visitors, big clap for, for the visitors that we get. We get thank about, you, about 15,000 visitors a year, which doesn't begin to compare to some of the big historic houses and stately homes. Um, we get a hundred thousand. Well, or half a million or, or, half a million. or, or more. We also, but we, but only we are, get about we're buried 000. in a very small part of the countryside that with without very many towns and cities close by. Or main so roads. We're, so we're so it's quite it's quite a struggle to get here. It is. But if you get it's here, to find us. you will be rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> we're um, in the middle of nowhere. Then we also have events. So yep. so we we host events through the year. So that includes things like the plant fair. We have two plant fairs a year um, and those bring in a couple of thousand people, which is, mm -hmm. which is brilliant. We have had a food fair in the past, but we... Are, then the pandemic hit. Then the pandemic hit. So we want to maybe want to get that one mm -hmm. going again. We do. We have Shakespeare in the Garden. Yes. Which has always been successful. Then, of course, there's the wonderful cafe, which is managed by the lovely Emma which serves fantastic food and quiches mm -hmm. and sells a few fantastic sandwiches, but also the events. Yeah, and also the events, but also Emma's done a fantastic job with the, we sort of uh, made a pop-up shop, if you like. I mean, it's, it's there for, for good, but she's done a great, uh, great in sourcing a lot of local um, fantastic artisans. So integrated with the cafe is the shop, mm -hmm. um, and indeed the Mapperton online shop, which only has a few items for sale. But we but hope if, to grow that. But if you go there now, and we'll put the, the address again. Um, you can we, get a tea towel. You can get some rather lovely things. Yes. So we've got the shop, we've got the cafe, and then we have something that happens not every year, but probably every two or three years, which is always incredibly helpful because it's income that, mm -hmm. in a sense, we, we haven't forecast, which is when a feature film comes mm -hmm. or a big TV series. And the last one we had was... Rebecca. Rebecca. 2019. So we'd actually, if anybody's watching this and you're a location scout, yeah, we, we're coming up to those but, three years. But more we'd like to get, we'd like to get another one. We'd like another one. But more importantly, if you're watching this and you haven't seen Rebecca, it's on Netflix. It's fantastic. Filming can be a really helpful source of, of income. When we get a film, that usually means that we say, oh, we can actually redo a roof or we can, you know, properly restore a full Some building. Some of the furniture in here. But it doesn't happen every year, alas. <laughs> We also then have farmland, which gets let to tenant farmers, and that generates very important income for us mm -hmm. um, and obviously provides livelihoods for the farmers and their families. And traditionally, on an estate, you know, farming income or tenant income would have been the main source of income. These days, um, you know, it's, it's a much smaller percentage. But in the case of um, properties, we also have about 15 uh, let properties. These are on, on long lets, mm -hmm. uh, mostly to families. Long rentals. Because when I first rentals. moved over here, I didn't know what a let was. So those are houses that um, are mostly well over 100 
often two or three hundred years old. Uh, lots of repairs needed. Then one of the new things that we've done here is to develop a couple of holiday cottages. So we've got Garden Cottage and then of course we've got Julie's new project where she thinks she's project manager. I am. But, um, Keeper's Cottage. I'm, I'm definitely in the back seat somewhere. <laughs> so, so the Keeper's Cottage project, uh, which we, really hope, fun. we hope will be um, online and available for rental Soon, 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 in the, soon. In the next couple of months. Yeah, next couple of months, definitely. And then I guess we're on to two of the new things that we've done. Firstly, with the Mapton Wildlands, the hope there is that we will bring back a number of redundant farm buildings to life and have those as additional places where people can come and stay, whether they're coming to a wedding or another event, uh, or they're just coming to visit Mapton Wildlands. Um, that's a big project. Do check out and do check out Mapperson Wildlands on Instagram if you're interested in what we're doing as far as restoring, helping to restore nature. So it's a big rewilding project. It is a big rewilding project, and linked to that are also the eco tours. So mm -hmm. Mapperson Wildlands tours, where people can come usually on a weekend and go out with an expert and learn about rewilding, look at all of the things that we're doing, and then of course we have Mapperson Live which is, of course, what we're doing now. And this is the wonderful project supported by all of our subscribers on YouTube and on Patreon to tell stories from Mapperton and to share parts of our lives and also mm -hmm. um, follow the various restoration projects that we have here because we've got many of them. In addition to all of those things, do you know what? We've Still got, more. There's quite a lot going on. Oh, there, I promise there? you there's only three more. It's wonderful because we have mm -hmm. couples who come and get married at Mapperton uh, and we get such brilliant feedback from them because we've got such a lovely team of people who make it all happen and make sure that these days for couples are just as memorable mm -hmm. as they possibly can be. Mm -hmm. In fact, Julie has done a tour of yes, Mapton it, it, Weddings. Yes, it's done very well on YouTube, actually. We, yeah, that's when we didn't even think about we, it, having a YouTube channel. We just stuck it up there. It's one of the most successful and, videos, bizarrely. Yeah, and, so thank um, you for watching. Um, so weddings, obviously, very, very important for us. And this is where we us. got married. And then, <laughs> and then Julie also hosts yoga, yoga retreats. retreats. So twice a year, usually twice a year, they're out of season. And by that, I mean, it, you know, the, the house is closed to the public November, December, January, and February. And so I usually host always, well, either November or November and February. So this November is already sold out, but I probably will open it up to February. So it's a very cozy. I think so. Don't tell um, anyone yet because yeah. you'll get. I know. I, well. well, if you're interested, comment down below and we can send you details. But um, so it's and it's a wonderful people stay in the mm -hmm. house. They stay in the garden cottage. And this year we will have um, the Keeper's Cottage available um, for those as who well. want to as well. So we actually could open up November. Possibly some tents. We could open up November. Yeah. I could have... Which leads me on to oh, another yes. thing that we haven't talked about, which is our glamping business. Oh, yeah. So we have okay. just... sorry. We have also, alongside retreats, we now have... We're exhausted. We now have <laughs> glamping at Mapperton. Mapperton camps. You can stay uh, in these wonderful six meter bell tents mm -hmm. with just the most fantastic views Compost lose. Um, and right in the middle of Mapperton Wildlands. So, so close to all the exciting things that are going on there in terms of biodiversity mm -hmm. and ecosystem restoration. I think that's the word that you wanted. Earlier. There we go. Um, like that. But lastly, we wanted to really give everybody watching a shout out for supporting this channel. Yes, Mapperton thank Live you. has been one of the great success stories of the last we year. We can't believe it, really. It's been absolutely brilliant, and we're really grateful to our subscribers, but also to our Patreon community. So a number of people have decided that they want to really become part of the Mapperton community mm -hmm. by joining Patreon. You can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live, and you'll see that there we're providing lots of additional things. So there, there are various tiers of support, but you get... Well, it's, it's a community. I mean, it's, and people actually know each other through the community um, and chat to each other. And we have new Patreon. friends yeah, through have, the community. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So it's just been this spectacular, really, community of um, Matt Burton supporters. And along with your you know, membership and your patronage uh, of Matt Burton, you know, you get the chance to obviously be a part of that community, but live Q and A's with Luke and I, we send a lot of behind the scenes updates and videos that are just exclusive to Patreon. Of course, there's goodies, there's photos, Christmas cards, tea towels um, that will be, uh, that can be sent to you as well. And, we, and we, we just get lovely, lovely feedback and interaction and suggestions 
And um, polls. And it, we do lots of polls we do there. Polls. <laughs> but, it, but also, um, these patrons are really supporting Mapperton and helping us make sure that this place is sustainable and can you know, really yeah. support all of the restoration projects that we are undertaking here. So we're very grateful to yeah. all of their support and all of your support. And I think, I think that, that's is, it. that is the that's list of all, that's all the different things. That's why we don't sleep. <laughs> and I think I've just realized that that is such a long list. Maybe, I know. Maybe it's too long. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we just got to keep going. I just think yeah. you got to keep going. She's got a ton of energy. So, well, um, so I'll th just, but that list I'll, just I'll exhausted just, me. I'll just lean on you. <laughs> thank you very okay, much, thank everybody. Thank you, everybody. I'm lucky enough to film at some of Britain's most spectacular historic houses, like this one, that was built during the Tudor period. I subscribe to History Hit, who's sponsoring this week's episode. History Hit is an on-demand channel and podcast network. History Hit helps me in my research, but also brings the stories that shaped the world to life through their award-winning podcast and online history channel. I'm currently obsessed with their Not Just the Tutors series. They have hundreds of programs, a thousand plus podcast episodes, and 5,000 history related travel articles. And every week, they launch 15 new podcast episodes and two new programs. I set up a special code for you to get 50% off the first three months when you use the code American Viscountess. Link down here and right here as well. History Hit TV is an excellent resource for anyone who wants to learn about the past. Today is the day that another child is having a 21st birthday party. But his, Jack, is having a, uh, his 21st celebration here. But it's not as big as what Emma's party was. Emma's party, of was course. Big. She, how many people did she have? I think 70. 70 in the coach house. Yeah. People and camping outside and in the house and in the garden that was a, that was a prop. That was probably the last proper party. Jack is having 12. So we have to, or 11 actually, 11. 11. It's 11. So we, and he's going to have his in the house. So a big yeah. a dinner party in the house. So we've got to put a leaf in here and then we're going to lay the table. So this is quite fun because quite fun. this is us getting ready for a dinner party. Not our own, nope. but for Jack's. Now we did have a chat with Jack to see whether he was happy for us to film his whole party and have it go on YouTube to millions oh. of people. And guess what? What? He said no. He wasn't up for it. So, <laughs> so, so, but he did agree that we could film the very beginning of it here. So, so the first thing is, is we've got to make this table, obviously. So, so this needs to fit 11 people. Yes. Okay. So currently it can do um, two on each end mm -hmm. and three on each side, which is 10. Oh. So it's very close to fitting 11 as it is. So this is a lovely, um, yeah, what, tell me George about this. George III uh, table, and it's got these clips here, which mm -hmm. hide the fact that the thing extends in the middle. By the way, so, I didn't know any of this. I've never seen this happen. So you're watching it for the first time while I'm watching it for the first time. <laughs> okay, so first, of all, first thing we need to do is move the end chairs back. Okay, um, I've literally never done this before. Um, I have to say I'm quite excited. And, and move these side chairs and, as well. So let, we'll just careful. move, the, move the, ta the chairs away. Okay. Um, and these chairs are lovely. So, um, okay. So then, what you have mm. underneath here is an extension. Okay. So we can actually move back. Oh. Okay. The table, like this. So okay. If you, if you bring that back, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we don't want to do too far. So actually, we probably want to move the rest oh, along okay. that way. So. Hold on. So if you go the other end and mm -hmm. just push. Push here. No, no, no. Oh, you got to push at the end. Here. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's push it. Oh, push I see, it back. I see, I see, I see, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're creating a space the same same size okay. as this one here. So you've got to go further back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then comes the magic bit. Yeah, what is the magic bit? The magic ah. bit is that these extend out. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Just no. like, oh, oh, oh. 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 She's not great at this, is she? Oh dear. She? Um, oh dear. Okay. okay. Right. Let's move this table down a little bit further. And you'll see okay. that the table has male and female ends. Do you see? Okay. She's totally mystified by that, but there we go. Okay. So behind here is, is Julie is the leaf. Mm -hmm. These are the tapestries, by the way, I want to get done. As so 
holding these. So I've tapestries. got some this one of the big restoration projects that's way down the list at Mapperton, but I promised you before I head off to greener pastures, this is going to be done. So I okay. still have a good some good time to get this done. Okay, okay yeah, moving okay. on, yes. Yeah, back to the yeah. <laughs> job in hand. Okay. Um, so we have to lift this. So mm -hmm. you need to lift your end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And now you need to walk through, through the gap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I've got that side. That side, and now we put these ones in. Okay. Now. Okay. What's going to be our our chairs? We need eleven. So, so that means we're going to do one chair um, at one end and two at the other end. Okay. Yeah, and then so we've got. So let's do two at this end and, and one four. at that end. I will say this, he's getting the knives and forks. Watch what happens, he's gonna do it all because he doesn't trust me because he knows that I'm rubbish at setting a table and I do it completely wrong. So just we watch. can start setting the table. Okay. So the question is on everybody's mind whether Julie can remember from <gasps> her table laying experience which way everything goes. Here it are. Some lovely glasses. Okay. So, add a splash of color with some blue. These small knives? I thought you wanted me to use the other ones. I, I, well, you, you got the other ones. Yeah, so. I didn't mean to do yeah. that. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, of course. Oh, crikey. Yeah. That was a real mess Yeah, up. it was a real, real boo-boo. So oh. Julie is, is undoing the table. So I'm not sure that your contribution so far is a net positive. Okay, I just messed up with the, I brought the wrong knives out. Right, candlesticks certainly need some new candles but we'll come to that in a minute. So we'll have one at this end, and we shall have one at this end. Okay, do we want red? I think we will go with whatever we've got enough of. Now, we have a very special centerpiece for the table which is reputed to be Oliver Cromwell's drinking flask. And the reason we know that is because it says Oliverius on the side. Um, we haven't ever tried putting any liquid in there, but I suspect if we did, it would leak out. But it's a very treasured family heirloom. It's looking pretty smart. It is looking really smart. Steve and Claire, what do you think? Looks good. Looks good. Yeah? I'd come to dinner for this. Um, Julie, you're missing a silver spoon here. Am I? On this one. I think that this is a table set for, well, it's set for a 21st. All we need now is cake, candles, and guests. Um, and I think the plan is to meet them all, first of all, outside on the lawn, where we're gonna give them a bit of champagne, and then they're gonna come in here and have their lovely dinner. Uh, and then I hear there is an after party to which Julie and I have not been invited, alas. You thought you finished. You signed off, all that stuff, but lo and behold, I found the missing silver spoon. Now, the I can go get the flowers. Touch.